sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! He just at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no, my stomach ache. You alright? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, well, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Hello. Hello. What it got to do with you? Mister? Ah. on them, no, much the opposite. If we seek 
gratitude and record. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Mind yourself. Look out! Come on out! You coward! We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! Come on! What you need to wake up anyway? You're a dead man! <laughs> Listen, I don't want no trouble, okay? I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. straight down Arthur Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? 
Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you!
He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a I've least a to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars.
Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. <sighs> theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you, and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to, for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sorta of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure-covered streets of Saint-Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor or Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to you dabble in that? all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Woo! Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you 
for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. How are we gonna get enough money for the passage of a whole boat, a captain's discretion, and land enough to keep us all? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we Give just me your money. money. It ain't Don't worth dying. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. Hand it's over your all your money now. Uh, quick. Oh, my, open that gate okay? and let my acquaintance inside. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance Okay, give me everything you got. Quick. Okay, fine, it's yours. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! Uh, 
There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. We need a 
I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, no. <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. So 
humane! His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful! Kill him already! Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Open your eyes, fool. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. In his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir.
There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, well, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Feel free to join a game, sir. Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. 
Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the stage. Let's get out of here. Hurry, Arthur. Someone will have heard that gun go off. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. View in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! You had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no good chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Painting that's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you wow. filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Punchos through. Ass forward. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. Bye, Neoma. <laughs> know you mr well, i believe we've met we have at that ghastly party oh evelyn miller unfortunately so mr uh, arthur morgan at least sometimes uh, can i say something rude sure the mayor thinks you robbed him well, I... oh, to be clear he, he wasn't very upset about it he rather liked you okay do you uh well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we... 
are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So... you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Idiot. Up on you, you know. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. The wars. We're in luck. An alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. The gator! It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history-making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Are you sure we should stop here? Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. 
You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. Ain't shame to this rolling fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us, especially with the big ones. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. When we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you... could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might... it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Or maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him and... Uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and rock. I'm eating. I hope he eats you too. Oh, he's awake. Leave him back here. Quick. No, 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 no. Quick, jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Got him. What a specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, uh, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Docker here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent, the backdrop jaw-dropping, but the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but... Never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. came 
Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Uh, 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 
Dan Perry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. My head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. You look 
looking at the pride of Lemoyne here, the great Corrigan panel saber. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... If we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me! What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill both of you! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! Uh, all right, all right. Well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove... Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. Nah, 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 <laughs> now, let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk, and you're bored, yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All uh, right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Look out! Good morning, Arthur. You okay? It's all an echo back wake. The ladies house in the mansion district. I don't like Santa Lee. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be 
harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Come on, people! It's ready! A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Ha! Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job, or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Must be the fellas here to see Thomas. Must be. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a... social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. If anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? It shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. 
It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Get this done soon. I can help you boys. Whoa, stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. Hmm. 
My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. I got the scale. It's over here. <laughs> Stuck. Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now, oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> We'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here, but the gun's loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull.
jumped him. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you covered. No, please hurry. Oh, oh, God, no. Please hurry. Going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in here. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Easy. 
You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> That's one hell of a speed. Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. <sighs> I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? This could get bumpy. Ah.
not so sure. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit! I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name, and I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend, and this will all be over. Oh, not for you, it won't be. Whatever you say. This is it. Down here. Almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <sighs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would've if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that then. Shut I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he, mortally wounded, Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name.
Let's go, girl. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery. Savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, <clears throat> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Have you got a shot?
somewhere. Arthur! Have a look upstairs. We got one on the stairs. Arrivederci! Bronte must be up there. Let's go. God damn it. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. him in the front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth! has got to be disposed of! Oh, oh, Our friends of oh. the are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Oh. 
Starting your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm... I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. Easy. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Jose has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? See you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right 
Country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Ah. Catch up here. Gentlemen. Thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Hmm. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Here's your 
deal. Dutch. Jose. Jose. God damn it! Kill those Couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on.
follow you. We gotta keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. We gotta keep moving. Like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. The assist. Guards up ahead. What now? Just wait a second. I'm out. God damn it. This night just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Everyone stay down and keep quiet. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on, rest you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Duck. Quick. I'm behind a chair. I hear someone coming. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something.
get cover and stay out of sight. Watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? And loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. Try to find another way. Oh, God damn it! 